Hey guys and welcome back today. A new pattern, a new section and this will be section 13. So for the first row we increase of course the first stitch as always. Knit and purl. Then we knit one stitch. We purl one stitch. And then we knit all the way three stitches. One, two, three, and purl one stitch. And then again, knit three stitches. One, two, three, and purl one stitch. And so on. Knit three, purl one, knit three, purl one. At the end of the row we knit two stitches and then you take off your eye cord stitches as usual and then turn your work. For row two we knit the first three stitches and then you purl one and knit three stitches. One, two, three. And purl one and knit three. One, two, three. And then you repeat all the time. Purl one, knit. Tw <laughs> no, no. You repeat purl one and knit three. Sorry. So all the time, purl one and knit three. So this across the row. And at the end of the row, we knit three stitches and we purl one stitch and of course the last stitch will be the knit stitch and then turn your work and in row three we increase the first stitch then we knit two stitches one and two then purl one, knit three, one, two, three, purl one, knit three, two, and three, and purl one, and so on. So knit three, purl one, across the row. And at the end of the row we knit two stitches and take off the three I-cord stitches and then turn your work. In row four we knit the three stitches and purl one stitch then knit three Purl one, knit three, and then repeat all the time, purl one, knit three, and so on. And at the end of the row, we purl one, and knit one, and knit the last stitch, and then turn your work. In row five, we increase the first stitch and then we knit three three then purl one and then again you repeat all the time knit three and purl one across the row and at the end we have again two knit stitches and then take off three I-cord stitches and then turn your work and in row six we knit the first three stitches then you start with purl one and then knit three one two three and then again purl one and knit three one 
three and purl one and so on across the row and at the end of the row we knit two stitches and you knit the last stitch then turn your work in row seven we increase the first stitch then you purl one and knit three one two three and then again purl one and knit three and repeat purl one and knit three across the row and at the end of the row knit two stitches and take off the eye cord stitches and then turn your work in row eight we knit three stitches and then you start with purl one and knit three two and three and then purl one and knit three and so on across the row and at the end here we knit three stitches and also the last stitch and then turn your work so these are your eight pattern rows and you see we get something like a something like a bread stripe and always if you purl one stitch you'll get this braid on the back side yeah and what you're going to do now is to repeat these eight rows four more times so that we have 40 rows at all and then we'll meet again so and this is how our pattern looks like on the front side and on the back side and now we're going to finish this and we're going to knit section 14 and we will increase for this first stitch knit and purl and it works the same way as section two so we knit all the stitches and don't forget to take off the last three stitches the eye cord stitches and at the end of the row we take off the three eye cord stitches and turn our work and in the back row we knit the first three stitches and then we purl all the others don't forget to knit the last stitch and after this row you should have 161 stitches at all yeah so happy knitting have a nice evening have a nice day whenever you're watching this and until next time bye bye